Shortly after the beginning of the First World War, both sides of the conflict discovered that the aircraft, constructed with lightweight wood and fabric covering, posed more challenges than expected. These planes not only provided aerial reconnaissance, but also carried machine guns and bombs into the sky. They were more agile than airships, and aircraft activity could be expected in many areas. However, the weapons available at the time, such as machine guns, were not ideal for effectively targeting aircraft flying above 500 meters. In order to address this problem, the British found that the 13-pound 6WB field gun, 76.2 mm caliber, had good ballistics and could be modified to serve as an anti-aircraft gun. Through a series of modifications, the gun received a new muzzle brake housing, a fixed latch was added to the breech to prevent ammunition from falling out during high-angle loading, and the gun was mounted on a carriage with an elevation range of 0 degrees to 70 degrees and 360 degrees rotation capability. Its maximum range was 5,200 meters. Having anti-aircraft guns alone did not completely solve the problem. The British realized that these guns needed to be mounted on platforms that could be rapidly deployed. The Thornycroft J-Type 3-ton truck and Daimler truck were selected for this purpose. Taking the J-Type truck as an example, it was equipped with a 45-horsepower inline four-cylinder gasoline engine in the front engine compartment. Power was transmitted to the rear wheels through a four-speed gearbox. The truck had leaf spring suspension and an open cab. The production of these trucks received subsidies from the British government and approximately 5,000 of them were produced throughout the entire First World War, which was a significant number at the time. A gun carriage was installed on the spacious deck of the truck, where the 13-pound gun was mounted. The gunner and loader were positioned on the left side of the gun. The spacious deck and the cab had no protection, only a simple waterproof canvas was used to shield against rain and sun. This self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle had a crew of five. The cab could accommodate three people side by side, and besides the gun, additional crew members and ammunition and tools could be carried on the deck of the cargo compartment. Once the vehicle was stabilized, it could engage in air defense operations. Initially, the gun fired standard 5.67 kilos field artillery shells. Although these shells were powerful in ground combat, they were clearly inefficient against aircraft. Later, new anti-aircraft high-explosive shells were used. However, the 13-pound 6-sub-WT gun was ultimately just a field gun, and using it for anti-aircraft purposes was only a temporary measure. Its muzzle velocity was too slow at only 520 mathers mies, and its trajectory was curved. The production quantity of this gun was not high, only a few dozen. Nevertheless, the idea of converting it into a self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle was correct. Before long, the British modified the gun barrel and other structures of the 18-pound field gun to create a new 13-pound 9CWT anti-aircraft gun. The most noticeable difference compared to the original anti-aircraft gun was that the barrel was increased from 1.854 meters to 2.46 meters, resulting in increased muzzle velocity and range. Once alternatives became available, the 13-pound 6 WT gun lost its value. Soldiers disassembled the gun from the self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicles and restored them to regular field guns for continued use. The last self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle was dismantled in 1916 or 1917. Regardless, this self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle was indeed one of the earliest in the world and represented a successful technological experiment. The 13-pound 6CWT self-propelled anti-aircraft vehicle had a combat weight exceeding 3 tons and a crew of 5. It had no armored protection, and the only weapon it possessed was the temporarily modified anti-aircraft gun. However, soldiers could carry light weapons for self-defense. The vehicle had a slow speed, with a maximum road speed of only 23.3 km/h, 